next guest is a New York board certified gastroenterologist here to talk about the importance of a healthy gut and how to improve it. Man, she speaks my language. <laughs> Welcome oh. back, Dr. Roshini Rajapaksa. Welcome, Welcome back, back doctor. I mean, I love it. Kim is here as well because she's got some questions for you. And by the way, if we could all be in on this wow. segment, we'd all be asking you it's questions. So this is great. I talk about it a lot. I'm so passionate about yeah. gut health. It's helped me so Your much. It's second brain. It's the yeah. second brain. And on that note, I'll ask you, if for those that don't know, right. why is gut health so important to our overall well-being? You know, I, I kind of joke that it's a great time to be a gastroenterologist right now because we are learning how important our gut is, not only for our, our digestion, but for our entire body. So when I was doing my gastroenterology training 20 years ago at NYU, we were learning about this microbiome, mm -hmm. these teeming trillions of bacteria in our intestines and all the different functions. Back then, we thought it was all about digestion and they, you know, help with you digesting your food and actually absorbing nutrients. Now we're learning they can have far-reaching effects throughout your body, things like immunity, right. even mental illness, even things like diabetes, blood sugar control, metabolism. So it really is such an exciting field of research and experimentation right now. And we're actually knowing that there are things we can do ourselves to foster that good, healthy bacteria. Fantastic. I mean, we've never right. talked so much about guts. I know. <laughs> it's true. I'm in heaven. It's true. Yeah. Talking about your Please. guts now. But <laughs> truthfully, yeah, like I said, it's it's yeah. your second brain, like they all talk That's about. Right. And I love it just I think we may have been at NYU at the same time. I was there 20 years ago. Oh, oh wonderful. Meanwhile, something that can help the bacteria in our uh, guts regulate, right. the good and bad bacteria, bad right. bacteria, is something called probiotics. So why are probiotics so important? How do they help? Right, so probiotics, just as you said, this is a way, these are healthy, good for you bacteria that you can actually enter into your system to really help when your own natural healthy bacteria aren't quite in balance. Okay. Because sometimes things can throw off the balance of your microbiome. That might be traveling, that might be getting getting sick, it might be taking antibiotics Medication, or medications, yeah. an unhealthy diet. And so you want to restore that balance, restore the good bacteria by getting it into your system. And there are ways you can do that, whether it's supplements, food, but you really want to focus on not only the numbers, because people get a little bit hung up on 10 billion is better than 1 billion. I was thought that. Right, yeah. but it's really more about the strain that you're taking oh. and the variety of strains. You want a diversity of strains in your gut. How many different strains are there? Yeah. There are countless I mean, strains. Like how much time do we have? <laughs> really? Yeah, but, oh, sure. yeah there and, are and so certain many. strains are, are also better for certain conditions and things. That's that I know. Absolutely right. We'll so you get into that. Yeah. yeah. And I was going to ask you, Doctor. So how often should you be taking probiotics? Because when I was going through chemo and mm -hmm. just oh. my system completely broke down, Wiping it out, I was yeah. just trying to, you know. Right. Pound it in. Well, it's true. You really want to get as much as you can on a daily basis. Okay. And what I recommend is trying to, within your diet, at least try to incorporate at least one meal a day getting some probiotics. Okay. That could be through yogurt, kimchi, kefir, sauerkraut. And that those foods are great because you also get a variety of strains, not just one. Usually. Okay. It's a, I have a question because sure. I'm a little bit confused. Yes. At what point does taking probiotics then hinder our body's natural ability to fight the bad bacteria. Does that ever yeah. happen? You know what, it's a great question. And we used to think that you just take probiotics for a certain period of time, then you stop and your body's natural right. bacteria will be growing and plentiful. Actually, it turns out that doesn't really happen and you should continue to take the probiotics, whether it's through your diet or through another form, you actually need to continue kind of supplementing what your body is lacking, generally speaking. So, like so a there's not a downside. Oh. Exactly. Okay. That's a good question. I didn't know yeah, yeah, it is a good that's, question. That's very helpful for sure. Okay, so yeah. we talked about a little bit, obviously supplements, uh, sauerkraut is a big one that I, you know, that I do, but yeah. other ways, other fermented foods and other ways to get probiotics in, but you're here to talk about some really interesting, new and exciting ways that you can get some probiotics into your system or on your skin. That's right. Ow. So this is really exciting because now it's not just taking a pill. Some people don't like to take pills. Not everyone loves sauerkraut. I'm not a huge fan Cameron, myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but now I there are companies that are putting it into the foods that we do love. So it's yeah. in coffee now. What? Tropicana. Oh, now yeah. you're talking. Yeah. So Bear Organics did a coffee. Tropicana, huge company, is now putting it in some of their orange juices. Good Belly, which is a well-known probiotic oh, yeah. brand, is now putting it in cereal so you can get it in your 
your morning cereal. Your kids can get it as well. I actually started a skincare company called Tula because now we know just as balancing your, your uh, gut microbiome, balancing your skin microbiome can have soothing, calming effects, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory effects, even great for acne. We just launched an acne line. So wait, so, probiotics are in Tula? That's right. It's I the foundation of the entire line. I love Tula. Oh, yeah. I, I love that to hear was your line. You oh, did it? I've been using Tula. <laughs> wait, that's oh, amazing. I'm, I'm shocked that we didn't talk about this. <laughs> I love when this stuff happens. But yeah, okay. but yeah probiotics, this, this, is one of the, this is one of the breakthroughs in skincare because this is something people didn't know about before. Topically applying bacteria have a host of benefits. And again, especially for redness, sensitivity, acne, aging, all of these things. So I'm excited to yes. hear that. Oh my gosh, yes. I love another girl who created Tula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's as, as important as probiotics are, right. prebiotics are also equally important That's to right. in our diet as well. Exactly. And now a lot of people don't know what prebiotics yeah. are. I think people are starting to learn probiotics. Now they have to learn prebiotics. Prebiotics are considered the food for probiotics. So often these are certain types of fiber you can get in Jerusalem artichokes, in leeks, in certain types of bran. And these are things that you're going to eat because they're going to help your own healthy bacteria grow and flourish. And there's actually a product, Uplift, just love. Uh, just launched these happy gut happy cookies. So another kind of fun way to get prebiotics in um, because you want to get really a mix of prebiotics and probiotics in your diet on a daily basis if you can. And are these good for kids too? Because I love to give them like yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Okay. And actually we're talking about, you know, why are kids getting so many allergies yeah. these days? Why yeah. are they getting sick? She's and allergic to so many different Really? Foods. And some of the theories are that they're not exposed to enough bacteria, the good bacteria wow. that help foster their immunity. So absolutely probiotics you want to get into your kid's diet also. Okay, thank you. I just love that we're sitting around talking, talking about, about it. I know. Yeah, this is, I know. I mean, can we make the rest segment. of the show about this? Is that too I'll much? I'll stay for the hour. I'm oh, happy man. to do it. It's two hours. <laughs> all right. Can we talk for two hours okay. about all right. it? I'd like to say to all of you, I love your gut. I know. Oh, that's right. Really? All of you. Everybody at home, for more valuable information from Dr. Raj, be sure to visit her social media, at Dr. Roshini Raj.